Hey guys, welcome back to The Fool's Show. Of course, I am Foolish Phil. If you like this video, please hit this uh, the like button, thumbs up. And if you really like it, hit that subscribe. I just wanted to give you my thoughts on Michigan's 72-70 to victory over the Northwestern Wildcats. If you did not watch this game, perhaps you want to consider yourself lucky. This was an absolute train wreck of a game by the refs. For the first four and a half minutes-ish of the game, the refs let the game go, and it was a fine game. Good offense, good defense, and all of a sudden the refs, like, I don't know, did they get a text from the Big Ten saying, hey, this game's too entertaining. Let's start calling fouls. Over the next 35 minutes, over the next 35 minutes, they called 46 fouls. And none of those were done, except maybe Williams at the very end of the last possession, were done on purpose. It was way over-officiated. The crowd, as you would expect, was completely dead because basically every possession is getting a foul. And both teams got into the bonus way early in the first half, way early in the second half. It was just atrocious. I mean, you want to tell, you, or you want to make people not get into basketball? Watch this game. The refs were so bad. Maybe it goes hand-in-hand. Hand. I'm going to hope it goes hand-in-hand, hand, but we know it's been an issue for Michigan throughout the year. Turnovers and inopportune, stupid turnovers started happening, especially in the second half. Michigan came out, it was 34-31 uh, at halftime, something like that. Uh, Caleb Houston, on fire in the first half. Great. He double digits. I think he had 12 points. Well, anyways, the second half, second half. Michigan starts out and gets a little rhythm. All of a sudden, Eli Brooks, who I think had two points in the first half, all of a sudden decides, hey, I'm a senior, six-year senior. Maybe I should shoot the ball. He passed up a wide-open shot. The commentators even said, why is he not shooting that? And then he comes back, drains this three, steals the ball, layup and one, six points in about ten seconds. And then he comes down, I think, the next possession of the second one after that, Gets another three, nine points in basically a minute and a half. And that's it from him. He, like, doesn't do anything for the rest of the game. I don't get him. He's so frustrating to me. And supposedly he's a good defender. And, man, Bowie, Boo Bowie of Nor Northwestern was able to just shake him free on those screens. Like, no problem. Drain threes. Boo Bowie had a tremendous second half. I think he only had two points in the first half. Finished with double figures. Ugh, so that was just frustrating. Anyways, so get back. Get, focus. So, Michigan was up by 11, and obviously Northwestern calls a timeout, and then all the stuff that Michigan was doing well completely implodes. The commentators are saying how good Devontae Jones is, how his statistics compare to Mike Smith of last year. Fine, they might. I, I, you know, I didn't, I've not done a deep dive in that. But while they're doing this, over the next like two minutes, Devontae Jones turns the ball over I think two or three times, he picks up an offensive foul, and he picks up a defensive foul, and then Michigan gets another turnover, another turnover. Michigan had, at one point, seven field goals made, and actually, yeah, it was seven field goals made and eight turnovers in the second half. Seven field goals, eight turnovers in the second half. Overall, for the whole game, Michigan shot like 55% for the game. The problem was, they weren't getting shots. Ugh. So all of a sudden, Michigan went from having an 11-point lead to completely imploding, Northwestern, fueled by Michigan's terrible turnovers. They finished with 13 turnovers. Again, I think part of that is the game was so choppy, so choppy that the it's hard to get any flow, and Michigan, too, has, is turnover prone. So maybe that's part of it. But 13 turnovers for the game, and so many of them were just dumb, inopportune turnovers. Northwestern goes on a 25-9 run, and finally Howard calls a timeout. I don't know what took him so long. He called it finally to get Hunter Dickinson back in the game, who was out with four fouls. And then Michigan was able to get a, a couple buckets with him back in before he fouled out. Uh, then a minute later, Diopate fouls out. So fouls were just such a huge problem in this game. Oh, man. So over-officiated. They're just... I mean... Even the, the TV announcers like, they're showing fouls, like Hunter Dixon got a foul here, he got a foul there, fine, fine. Then they're showing other ones, and they're like, I don't know about that one. But you just move on. There's so many fouls. The refs over-officiated that game and ruined the game. Okay, now, 
with a couple minutes to go, Michigan found some offense. All of a sudden, Diabate's out, Dickinson's out, and they put in Falls. And he's actually played a little bit because of other games with COVID and such. So he comes in, and like the first play he's in, he basically gets a uh, middle pass right in the lane, and he throws it right out to uh, Caleb Houston, who drains a three. He finishes with 18 points on the night. Wonderful for Caleb Houston. And just, just give props to Falls there, because he you know, could have just gone and done a uh, Brandon Johns Jr. and just not do anything productive. At least he passed to a shooter who shot the ball. Man, there were some times without Dickinson out there that the offense was just inept. I mean, they had no idea what to do. Passing the ball around, they didn't even know the shot clock was going to run out. And there goes the shot clock in the room. Oh, man, it was frustrating. But that, somehow the team pulled out the win, man. Oh, like I said, if you didn't watch the game, you might not want to watch the game. At least only watch the highlights. They'll skip all these terrible possessions and such. And you are be like, well, Michigan didn't play so bad. Yes, they did. But they pulled out the victory. Because, man, if you lose this game after you beat Indiana on the road, if you, it would completely make that game completely worthless. Was it a good game? No, but it's a victory, and you take it, and you move on. A couple other points here. I just want to say that um, uh, they hit the two free threes at the end. Terrence Williams, the third, hit one, and Caleb Pearson hit one. Just huge shots without Dixon, without Diabate. They found a way to get some offense. Then Jones, too, he had a great game towards the end. I know right when the announcers were saying how great he was, he just imploded, but the whole team did. But he drove, and the way the rest were calling it, drive to the lane and get fouled, and he hit all his free throws, man. He hit, like, four straight free throws at crunch time. Excellent there. And I just want to say, too, fouls were being called so much. But Hunter Dickinson completely lost his cool and his mind, and it really almost cost the team. He picked up his fourth foul with, sorry, let me quick look it up. He picked up his fourth foul with, uh, I wrote it down as 420, no, he's fouled out. He picked up his fourth foul with 715 to go. If you saw it, he missed a little, like, kind of little bunny hook shot, and he was, I guess, mad he missed it or something, and he goes in and he fouls the rebounder once, gets away with it, and then he goes in and, like, tries to swipe at the ball again, and he gets fault called for that. It's like, you're under your own basket. Michigan totally needs you to spread the field, spread the floor field, spread the floor. You're our best offensive weapon, and you pick up uh, your fourth foul. Such a stupid, worthless foul. And oh man, it almost cost Michigan him taking that dumb foul. I mean, there are fouls where the refs call that shouldn't have been called. Fine, but that was a foul, and it was a stupid foul. And Michigan's lucky that they get the, this win because. He had to go sit down for, what, like, I think, like, three, four minutes there, and Michigan just continued to sink without him. He came in, he got, I think he got a basket from Frankie Collins, Collins got another layup, but he goes out, and it just, Michigan just was out of sorts again for minutes on end. So there was just such a dumb frustration foul he took. It's, you can't do that. <sighs> I don't know how neither coach got a tech in this game. The refing was so bad. So bad. Ugh. Michigan gets the win. 72-70. to 70. They're going to have to play a lot better than this to win in East Lansing on Saturday. But they got the win. It doesn't matter about how many points it was because did you win or lose. And Northwestern's a scrappy team. If you saw my video earlier, I warned you about Northwestern. They're basically the same team as Michigan. Points per game, points for, points against. A scrappy team. Outside of their Purdue loss, they have all their Big Ten losses have been uh, by eight points or less. So they are scrappy. I'm just happy Michigan got this win because all the fouls, all the turnovers, and somehow Michigan got a win. So just you know, wrench your hands of this. <sighs> Blow a little kiss of relief. Sigh of relief would be a better word. <sighs> Michigan got the win. They needed this win. Keep some momentum going and going into East Lansing. I don't know how it's going to go. You know, maybe Michigan will rise up and play a good game 
sometimes they do that when they play their rivals, right? Michigan will rise up to play Michigan State and vice versa. So see what it goes. Last to say about this game, sorry it went on a little bit long, but Michigan gets the win 72-70. to If you have any comments, please put them in the box below, and I'll try to respond as I'm able to. Until I see you guys next time, go blue!